We are continuing to follow that breaking news out of Fairfax County this morning. Chopper 4 was over the scene of a large house fire on Whetstone Manor Court in Clifton. When firefighters first arrived, there were people trapped. News 4's Northern Virginia reporter Drew Wilder joins us now live once again from the scene. Drew, we just learned five people inside the home were injured in this fire. A pretty bad scene. Bring us up to date. Yeah, that's right, Millette. So we just got an update from Fairfax County Fire and Rescue. They tell us that there were five occupants in the home that were taken to the hospital. Two of them were trapped inside that home while the fire was burning for several minutes. They were transported with life-threatening injuries. Now, Fairfax County Fire and Rescue will not confirm the ages of anyone. But multiple neighbors tell News 4 that they witnessed those two people being rescued, say they were two young children, and they watched as EMS crews perform CPR on them in the front lawn before they were taken by ambulance to the hospital. There's a little bit of action here. We're told that the fire is under control, but just right before we came back on the air here, uh, a few firefighters went back up on this ladder truck. It appears that they're trying to open up through the window. We haven't been told the fire's out, but we have been told that it's under control at this moment. Uh, we haven't seen any smoke or any flames since we've been on the scene really for the last 90 minutes or so. But we saw some video that a neighbor gave us, and it's almost difficult to describe how intense the smoke pouring out of this home was. Fairfax County Fire and Rescue tell us it was right about 9 o'clock when they got the 911 call that there was smoke inside the home. They responded, and when firefighters first got here, there was a lot of black smoke pouring from the home, and fire was starting to show. That's when they had at least three people already accounted for, but the two others inside that home. Again, fire officials won't confirm the ages, but multiple neighbors say the two people trapped were two very young children. They've been taken to the hospital. Neighbors have been walking around, checking on each other really all morning since we've been here. Uh, just a short time ago, I, I spoke with a man who witnessed all of this happening, and, and here's what he had to say. Fire started becoming intense. It was so intense that, uh, you know, uh, it took some time for fire people to take, take control of it. But they, but they eventually do it. But what the scary part is that, that uh, came to know that there, there, there were two children inside. After strangling hard, uh, these people were able to take out the children. They were in unconscious state, I believe. So Fairfax County Fire and Rescue won't confirm the relationship just yet. Again, they won't say the ages, but multiple neighbors are telling us that there were three kids inside that home being watched today by two grandparents while the kids' parents were at work. There isn't any school today because of the holiday. So those kids were at home. One of the neighbors said that when she first saw that there was smoke pouring out of the home, she ran out into her front lawn and she saw one of the children out in the lawn on the phone with 911. Fire officials won't confirm right now who made that 911 call, but multiple neighbors said it was one of the kids while his two siblings were still inside. Fire crews say that they got to work immediately and they were able to locate the two people inside the home fairly quickly and get them out. Again, they've been transported to the hospital with life-threatening injuries, but neighbors say right now they're just holding on to hope that when they left here they were still alive. And they're hoping for the very best that they make a quick recovery and eventually come back to this Clifton neighborhood, Millette. Oh, this is uh, just, just tragic and sad for that family and for that community, Drew. Um, and I know you'll keep us updated throughout the day and, of course, later today on News 4. Just very, very sad. And we're praying for that family.